Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. I am Wolfstalker25, and today I'm bringing you guys another action figure review on the newly released Ursa Major Wave Stealth Iron Man. Um, so this is also the continuation of my unofficial, what I am calling, Iron Man Week. And uh, uh, yeah, this is the Thursday video. I'm recording this Thursday morning at 3, 3 a.m. So very unfortunate timing and it's very late and I'm tired. But yeah, we're going to get into this. We're going to look at this Iron Man. Spoiler alert, he is pretty awesome, but there is a drawback. So uh, we're, we're going to take a look at his accessories really quick first. Take a look at everything he comes with. Um, he does come with the Ursa Major left leg. Um, I don't have it out. I have it currently on the figure. I'm missing one part. I'm missing Ultron. So currently I'm missing one of Ursa's arms. So we're not going to see a Build-A-Figure review for uh, a little while. And then we'll see probably Vault Guardsman and Darkstar maybe next week. Unless I do some other skips. So be on the lookout for those reviews coming soon. But Iron Man. Yes. Ursa Major. Left leg. Um, he comes with a unmasked. Tony Stark head comic style which is very nice the only thing I dislike about these heads is they are like this is the same style of head that I think came with um I want to say it was the normal Iron Man the 80 anniversary one it's back there in the corner if you could see it um, right there so uh it came with that too, but the head is kind of big if this is the same one. I'm not going to pull that one out because I don't even know where it's at personally. But yeah. Um, and then you get two. You get a set of fisted hands in these in this nice like metallic dark blue color. does have the hinge on there as well. And then you get a set of uh, repulsor beams for the hands, which are in red, which I really like. And honestly, I kind of wish we got another set of these for the legs as well, because it would have been nice to get four. Um, so, yeah, let's take these off. We got Iron Man. Let's take a look at him. As you can see, we have two different colors of a metallic blue. We have a really dark, deep blue here, which is very nice. And it lightens up on, like, the legs and, like, the biceps and, and shoulders and the, and the mask or whatever. Um, and it gets a little bit lighter it's not as dark so yeah this Iron Man is very cool I really like it this has always been one of my favorite looks for Iron Man is the stealth suit I don't know what it is about the suit but I've always loved it since I was a kid with the very first variant Marvel Legend figure that they kind of released being the variant stealth Iron Man but yeah so here's a closer look at the face cool red detail in the eyes nice red arc reactor with a little bit of a white bit in the middle um, the marbled shiny just really like look at the if you look in there just look at the extra speckled detail in there in the armor like this just ah oh, I love it I love the look of this figure it was always my favorite thing about the old toy biz stealth Iron Man was the the fact that he had the like the speckled sparkle in a in his in his uh, paint but yeah really nice um, you do get the little bit of rubbery plastic there um, so yeah this Iron Man awesome let's take a look at the articulation so with the head joint it is on a hinge the disc hinge so you can get him looking up that far um, down that much very nice does have a teeny tiny 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 bit of head tilt um, shoulders do go up that far and then you could do the full 360 with them does have a bicep joint double jointed elbows very nice the wrists do swivel there is no like wrist like cut there at like the the gauntlet um, the downside is these hands do not have a hinge for the repulsor hands the fist do though um, and then you got the ab crunch which can go that far back only that far forward does have a waist cut that can do a full 360 
Um, and then the legs do go up that far. Not very far back. He could go about that far out to the side. I'm not going to push it too much because these uh, messed up. And there's a little, little other thing that we need to be careful for. Um, does have an upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Which get up that far. There might be a little bit more in the in the bottom if you do the bottom one first. Um, and then he does have a boot cut. And then ankles do go back that far, forward that far, and then he does have ankle pivot. So, Iron Man. Stealth Iron Man. Very nice, very cool. I really enjoy this figure. Um, looks like my thing got pushed a little too far forward. But I really do enjoy this figure. I think he's really cool. Um, I really enjoy the look of this armor. I think it's awesome. It's my favorite design for Iron Man, so this is going to be, honestly, spoiler, this is my favorite figure in the wave. Nothing else comes close. I haven't gotten Ultron yet, but I think Ultron will be at least within the top three um, for just a rating of them. But yeah, he this Iron Man is so good. So cool. I really enjoy him. But, but there's a big downside to Iron Man. Unfortunately, the stealth Iron Man is prone to breaking. Um... If you look at the code in the back there, I believe anything under the uh, 1,100 or the uh, anything in the 10,000 range, I think, is like a bad batch. <laughs> Not Star Wars related, but is a, is a bad batch. And uh, I guess they could explode at the crotch and they just break. Um, the same thing happened to my my Doctor Doom from the Bring on the Bad Guys um, Zenmu way or zem new wave uh his crotch exploded it just must be something to do with this style of of plastic that they use uh on the crotch or something they do with the legs i don't know so i think my iron man's good i think it's in that above eleven thousand range so i think it should be fine but certain ones are prone to breaking so i i know there's a reddit post if you go on the marvel legend subreddit there's a couple like last week sometime there's a post about it so if you want to do your research you can probably find it see if you if you do get this figure try and get one that's in the better range other than that the only other weird thing about this iron man is he does have a weird white dust from the factory that you could see on him when you get him there's some of it still left but just a little wipe or a wash down with the figure and you'll get that right off and it'll be fine so let's do a height comparison your stealth Iron Man does stand right under the six and a half inch mark. And now let's do your other size comparisons. And the very first figure we're going to do is the original Toy Biz Stealth Iron Man. One of the first variant figures we ever gotten. And what this figure is what I'm assuming based off of. So very nice. Uh, obviously, you can see the height difference that we've gotten in Marvel Legends over the years. You could see the difference in shoulders and everything like that. But personally, I've always loved this figure. I think it holds up pretty well. He does have the removable faceplate, which has always been very cool. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this new one. I think he's a perfect uh, successor to this old one right here. The old one isn't as shiny as he used to be. He's a little dusty, a little dirty, could use a washdown. Um, but yeah, he's still, I still love him. I wish the new one did have the red up here, like the old Toy Biz one did, and the little, like, I don't know what you'd even call those, but yeah, I, it's pretty cool. Um, another look really quick we'll get is the Mezco, uh, Stealth Iron Man. So here's your Mezco, there's your original Toy Biz, there's your new Hasbro, and there's your Mezco, and, uh, yeah, I, I really like the Mezco one. The Mezco is more like a modernized look of the stealth suit, in my opinion. But I really like this classic-y look right here. And I love the paintwork on this figure. This one's really nice, too, but it doesn't have the shine that this one does. So, yeah, there's your size comparisons with a Mezco and an old Toy Biz. Um, and then here he is next to the newly re reviewed figure that I did the Sentinel Iron Man from previously in the week I believe this was our Monday video if you haven't checked it out 
checked it out yet, go check it out. It's a very cool figure. I really do enjoy it. He's having a little bit of a hard time standing right now because I had him in a cool action pose. So, and we knocked over Stealth Iron Man. But yeah, they stand very similar in height. Oop, gave out at the knee. But yeah, that one's made of a lot of die cast. He's very heavy. He's got a nice weight to him. He's really awesome. Uh, here he is next to your SH Figure Arts Goku and your Figma Samus. And we'll do a oh, do a quick height comparison next to another figure from the wave. Here he is next to your modular Iron Man. Another classic old school suit. Um, here he is next to your Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex. Oh, and there goes Rex. And your Power Ranger Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red. Yep, there he is next to them. Oh, we lost the Toy Biz Iron Man. Man down. All right, here he is next to your Halo Spartan Collection Master Chief. Looks pretty good. And then your Mofax Black Variant Batman Hush. So, yeah. And then, lastly, oh, if I could get to him, everybody's falling on my uh, on my sides. Here he is next year, uh, Rebel Tech, All Might, and yeah, he's bigger. But I think that looks pretty good together. I personally, if you want everyone to make your Marvel and your My Hero crossover, so overall, actually, and we'll do one last thing. Here is your Iron Man with the helmetless head, if you do want to get a look at this. I don't really do this this often, because I kind of like getting my figures in their like, forever looks. I don't really use the unhelmeted heads that much, but I do like having them. It is a nice addition. I just wish he had a hinge on that hand so you could bring it in, so he can hold his, hold his helmet. Like, the best you could do would be to, like put his hand or fist on his side and then kind of tuck the helmet in there like that. There we go. I guess that works. Um, oh, and we lost it because the waist was down. But yeah, overall, this is a very nice figure. I really like it. It's my favorite one from the wave. I think I still have my second one ordered on Amazon. Probably going to cancel it because I don't really need two, but I always thought about getting a second one just to keep in the packaging in case anything bad ever happened to this one because I really love this look. But yeah, uh, I say if you're an Iron Man fan and you really like the look of the stealth armor, go ahead, get them. You already know what you're getting into because this is the 80-year um, body mold. So here's your 80-year Iron Man if you want to get a look at them together. Um, but yeah, it's just a nice little, you know, shiny metallics. They look really good together personally. I think they look awesome. So if you are building a hall of armor like I have and stuff like that and you want a ton of suits, this is awesome, especially for your comic look. And if you don't have a good stealth suit, they've released a couple over the years. Um, Hasbro's done another one, which is a different style Iron Man, which I think a little bit shorter before. But yeah, I mean, I say go get them. If you're not an Iron Man fan, honestly, you could probably pass on them. But I still think he's really worth it, especially if you're doing different looks of eras from the comics with Iron Man. I think there's been a couple runs of the Avengers where he probably wore the suit. And you could do some like classic old school team ups with that and it would look pretty good for pictures or displays so i it's up to you guys but i personally really like them it's my favorite figure from the wave favorite iron man armor in general this is going to be my favorite probably marvel legend for the whole year i really like this this suit the the old school toy biz was always this was always one i played with as a kid and i loved it and it was one of the first variants we ever got my parents hunted it down and yeah just being able to have these two you know and in the same like armory or on the same shelf is just going to be really cool just it's a good you know good way it's a good passing of the torch figure in my opinion i really like him but yeah other than that that has been all for me for this video hopefully you did find this review helpful hopefully you found the figure hopefully you think the figure is pretty cool i personally do let me know in the comments down below what you think of this figure are you gonna pick him up did you pass on him did you unfortunately have one that broke uh you know let me know all those things down there. If you did have one that broke, go contact Hasbro. They could probably give you a replacement. I contacted them for 
for Doctor Doom when he broke, and they sent me a, a MODOK in replacement, which was pretty sick. So I'll be doing a review on MODOK at some point. A um, little bit of updates tomorrow, Friday's video, will be the review of the uh, Infinity Saga Thanos and Iron Man 2-pack. I'm probably going to start recording that video right after this one, so or I'll do it later today. Uh, either way, that will be tomorrow, and then next week we don't, I don't really know what's going on yet. I might do two uploads or three, just maybe tone it down, because I'm getting a little bit of a burnout feeling. So, as always, if you haven't already, I would always appreciate a like down below, as well as if you haven't, a subscribe as well. I do appreciate it. It helps out the channel, and uh, it just, you know, makes me have more motivation to do this kind of stuff, because it's awesome, and I love sharing this hobby with everybody. Otherwise, these figures just sit and collect dust with no one to ever care about them. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have subscribed already, thank you. I really appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video, and uh, hope you all have a good day day good weekend everything like that if you've watched what if i'm going to do a little bit of a spoiler in tomorrow's episode so please watch this week's episode if you don't want to be spoiled it is a very good show so far uh at least the second episode was first episode eh. but all right i'll see you all tomorrow